Hi friends, Cozy Kitty Cat here, ready to have some fun? Let's get cozy. Hello my fellow felines, this is Cozy Kitty Cat here, and welcome to another Animal Crossing video. Today, um, I have a special kind of video that I want to show y'all, uh, but let's just go ahead and talk to Isabel and go from there. Good morning, everyone. Right now on Dewdrop, it's 11.13 a.m. on Tuesday, October 11th, 2022. Leaf is here today, and that's all for now. So something is different today. Um, my hair is down, yes. Um, but also... <laughs> I flattened. Sorry. I just was very unhappy with everything. Um, I didn't really have like a, a vibe I guess I wanted to go for. Um, I still have my crops and all of my fruits, and then down here I still have most of my flowers also on the beaches, so like, don't worry about that. I still have my flowers and my hedges and all that stuff, but um, I was just really unhappy with how where it was at and how it was turning out. Um, because when I did the campsite, um, I wanted my island to be like spring forest core, right? Um, but the way I was kind of decorating my island, at least, I was decorating it more for fall, and it didn't make sense, frankly. Um, so I just decided I'm gonna flatten, we're gonna restart, I'm probably gonna make a mood board, we're probably gonna mess around on Happy Island Designer, uh, we're just gonna mess around and do some stuff, do some island planning, uh, basically restarting this island without restarting this island. So I think the first thing I want to mess around with is looking at different custom paths because I do have these ones um, and these ones are really nice because there are two different variations so I have all the flowers on this part and then this one doesn't have the flowers which I like. Um, I have some wooden planks that are nice. I have some random flowers, some rocks, and some uh, leaves on the ground which are nice. I also have some mushrooms which I feel are very spring um, and then I also got some log steps. This little stone flower stepping stone thing I don't really know. Um, I'm thinking about using this for the flag because I like it quite a bit. Um, I found this like little acorn kind of stepping stone that looks like it has grass around it so I think that'll look really cute. Um, ooh, yes, that actually does. That looks really nice. I like that quite a bit. I hadn't seen that on the ground yet, so I just wanted to look at it. Um, and then I got these four blankets. Um, we can kind of mix and match. And then I have these for the museum. I think I want to get different ones, though, because I don't know if the red necessarily like fits the aesthetic that we're going for. Um, and then I have this for in front of the museum. And I also got this deck as well, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. I'm probably not going to. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is grab some items from my inventory and just kind of get a vibe of what I want to do, including some of the custom designs that I have and just go from there.
Okay, friends, so out of my inventory, this is the best I could do for the vibes. Hi, Bones. Um, this is the best I could do for the vibes. I think it's pretty on par for what I want. Um, I, I like all of the custom designs together. I want to see if this creator has more like this acorn one, because those are really cute. I like how it looks like it's set in the grass. Um, so I'm going to look for that. I don't have all the flowers I want either. I also want white cosmos and probably some pink hyacinths and just some more colors. Um, but these are like the main ones that I'm probably going to use. I don't know about using the red large mush platform yet, but I don't know what other colors of it that I like. So I guess we'll have to see about that. And um, for the chair, I would probably want it in white, but now that I'm looking at it, the green isn't that bad, so um, I might use green or I might use white. Um, I'm not really sure. And then obviously the green leaf pile. I have all the gnomes um, and the wheat field. Um, that'll be a good item. And then I might just use the normal pond stone also, um, but I like the one with the cherry blossoms in it but I don't know if I like the color of the actual stone for this one. So that might, that is subject to change also. So the person that made the acorn didn't have many more, but they had another acorn going the other way, a little bear and a rabbit. So I definitely downloaded those. Oh, Bones is so cute. Um, I think I'm gonna have to keep him on the island. I don't know, that's how cute he is, but Speaking of who we're gonna keep on the island, I think it's time for me to take a look at who are the villagers that I am actually going to keep on this island, who are my dreamies, one from each type and two extras, one boy, one girl, that's how I roll. Um, I'm gonna go look and I'll update you as I fi figure it out, I guess. I have compiled a short list of villagers. Uh, we're starting off with the jocks. The short list of jocks is Axel, Bam, Curly, where are you? Kevin, and Rudy. Short, I know. It's called a short list for a reason. Now on to Smug, this is an even shorter list. Kid, Marshall, and Shep. Cranky is once again a short list. It is Camo Frog and Fang. Sisterly is another short one with only two. We have Deirdre and Quinn. Now on to some of the longer lists. Let's start with Peppy. We have Apple, Blue Bear, Chai, Sherry, Cookie, Dottie, Maddie, and Mary. Let's check out the boys. I have Anchovy, Bo, Bones, Claude, Drake, Ozzy, Paolo, Poppy, Sherb, and Walker. On to the normals. We have Callie, Celia, Chevra, Daisy, Dora, Gala, Gale, Lily, Lolly, Lucy, Margie, Mitzi, and Olive. And last but not least, we have our snooties, Annalise, Azalea, Blair, Cleo, Diana, Whitney, and Willow. I'm going to start by narrowing down the easier categories, the ones like two or three. Uh, so for Cranky, we're going to go with Fang. I've never had him before. He's a wolf. He'll fit perfectly in the forest. I think it'll be great. Um, out of Deirdre and Quinn, I already have Deirdre. <laughs> um, so I'm going to keep her. <laughs> I think that one's kind of obvious. Um, now for Smug, Kid, Marshall, and Shep. I've had Shep before, he is really cute. Um, I've never had Marshall or Kid. I think Marshall probably fits the best with the vibes, but I like 
Shep more than him, but I also think Marshall fits better with the Forest Core vibes. So with that being said, we're gonna go with Marshall. Now for jocks, we have Bam, Axel, Curly, Kevin, and Rudy. Um, this is a really hard decision. I think Bam is out immediately because he doesn't fit the vibe. So is Axel because they're both blue. I don't know if blue necessarily fits like the vibe. Um, I don't think Curly fits. I don't necessarily like his cheeks. Um, and he's a pig. So is Kevin. Let's go with Rudy for this one. Now let's go to Peppies. We have Apple, Blue Bear, Chai, Sherry, Cookie, Dottie, Maddie, and Mary. Uh, this is a long list, not gonna lie to you, obviously. I've had a lot of these before. Um, the one that I'm leaning towards, I haven't had before. I'm thinking let's go with Sherry. Because I've never had her before, she fits the theme, she's red, so she'll incorporate the red that we want from the mushrooms and stuff like that, and I think it's gonna fit well. Now for Lazy, we have Bo, Bones, Claude, Drake, Ozzy, Paolo, Poppy, Sherb, and Walker. Um, obviously we already have Bones, so that's an easy answer. Now for Normals, we have Callie, Celia, Chevra, Daisy, Dora, Gail, Gala, Lily, Lolly, Mitzi, Olive, and Margie. This one is a really hard choice because I like them all. Um, I'm having a really hard time figuring out who I want because Lily would be really cute as a little frog in the forest. We could give her a little swamp. That would be really cute. Callie would fit really well because she's a squirrel. Stelia would also fit really well because she's an eagle. Um, you know, Daisy's a dog, so that would work. Dora's a little mouse. Um, I think Gale and Gala are out um, a pig and an alligator. That doesn't work. We already have cats, so I a cat. So I don't know about Lolly or Mitzi. Um, I think we are going to go with Lily for this one. And for Snooties, we have Annalise, Azalea, Blair, Cleo, Diana, Whitney, and Willow. I think the answer for this one is obvious, no? Blair. She was in our campsite the other day, so Blair is our answer. So now that we have the eight, the first eight, the top eight, uh, if you will, Rudy, Marshall, Fang, Sherry, Bones, Lily, Blair, and Deirdre, um, I get to pick my two extras. One male, one female. That's what I do. That's how I roll. And um, I think I am going to pick one eternity later i am going to pick dora the normal mouse and camo frog the lazy frog and that my friends will be our final dreamy island lineup once again that is rudy marshall camo frog fang sherry bones dora lily blair and deirdre and out of that list, we already have three of our babies home. We have Deirdre, Bones, and Blair here on the island already. So, friends, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a bit short, but uh, I'm really happy with the kind of ideas that we came up with. And we got a dreamy list for this island finally settled down and I kind of have the vibes that I want. I downloaded some more custom designs, I made a in-game mood board, and just had a good time and figured out my dreamies. So thanks for coming along with me while we did that, and uh, I will see you all in the next video. Please be sure to comment down below what you think of the island so far, give me any ideas that you have, and uh, just let me know what you think of the video. Be sure to like the video if you like it, and uh, subscribe if you are so inclined. But with that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Bye, friends. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay cozy.